going on guys mountain mike here of scale haven rc and uh i did a thing so you better join me for that so late last night i was looking at this thing and i couldn't help it you know it was super sloppy if you saw in my last video and such a beautiful body on cheap ass axles I couldn't leave it that way no more so she's been changed up a little bit here and uh, you might notice we're on Capra axles and we're on the Capra pan we switched her all over. Still got a little bit of work to do, but it's looking pretty slick so far. She's all ready to go. After I show you what I did with the spare parts, we'll take her for a little test. Break. As for this, for now, to the land of misfit toys but what we did with the rest we created the little buggy here now it's on those cheapo axles don't mind the extra links i was just goofing so i took the two speed that was in that and i took the axles that were in that and I switched them over, so, you know, same... Oh, there's actually a rock there. Let me go further forward. Same ridiculous amount of slop, but it doesn't matter so much in a bouncer, which is more so what this is going to be. Bouncer, mud, competition, um, speed over slight precision. And I think it'll do all right. I've got some more tucking to do obviously got to mount up a servo and uh and i'm thinking what kind of paint job we're gonna do on her but as it is on the 2.2s she's got clearance lots of clearance it's gonna be the rat rod that hood's off of the first rc i ever got oh gosh i don't even remember what it was I'll clip in a, a picture of it. Is something else, but it's what got me into this whole thing, so I had to incorporate it a little bit. Um, let's take this guy for a rip, see what she's got. So, like I said, everything out of the Capra, including the uh, transmitter here. So rear steer is gonna be kinda complicated, but if I stop and I take the time, I can do it. Like I said, amongst all the work that I have to do here is uh, we need to trim up the front section of this fender because on articulation, she hits. But not be happen. Let's see what Capra components do on the trail. So much quieter than it has ever been before. Amazing.
I'm fucking in love with this thing. You know what? Just because that looks so damn good. I'm going to do it again, zoom in. About to lose the bike. What are we here? A little bit of roadkill? Hmm. Are going to make it up the first hill? We just got to make it to the shop, that's all. Come on, Jason. Drive easy. this until we have to. I don't know how this test drive just turned into this, but it's kind of like a stability test, I guess, because smooth operation is key, because this tailgate doesn't latch. It's actually a pretty damn heavy buck. Didn't bring any straps with me today. Sorry about that, guys. I had to stop for a picture. Mr. Buck's still in there. We're doing all right. Let's see if we can lose him on this last corner. Nice. Mm-hmm. All right, guys, that's a wrap for this one. I hope you enjoyed. I am absolutely in love with this thing. I cannot express it enough. It is astonishing. Um, 
after all of the different phases that this has been through, this has got to be by far the best. And I don't think I'm going to change a thing. As for this little guy, I still got to get it figured out, you know, and then get it on the trails and we'll see what it does. But that's it for now. We'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.